Hi everyone, my name is Jason Play, Senior Manager of Product, and today I'll share a quick overview of the near-term roadmap for the cloud teams. So let's get to it. My, or the overarching goal for the cloud teams is to accelerate and support the product-led growth in three key ways. First, with rapid adoption through our cloud offering. Second, is with frequent experimentation supported by the A-B test framework on the cloud. And third, with operations and infrastructure that supports the growth that we anticipate to happen in the cloud. And for us, calendar year 2021 is, is really about setting the foundation. Even though cloud was released and launched um, in November of 2020, there are still various foundational aspects that we're working towards uh, in this calendar year. And one of them includes setting the foundation for the data-driven growth motion through our AB test framework and experimentation methodologies um, across marketing and product. And all of this um, then allows us to accelerate adoption through our cloud offerings in 2022. The three focus areas we have include um, optimizing the early user experience, fully automating the self-serve customer journey, and scaling our cloud operations and infrastructure. For optimizing the early user experience, based on data and based on feedback we receive from the user community, there's just a lot we can do to optimize the early user experience from onboarding to inviting new users and, and, and to really make it easier to get value from the product right from the first moment when you start using it. Second, for automating the self-serve customer journey, we want to make it as easy, as effortless and frictionless as possible to support the user's journey as their instance grows and as their needs grow as well. And third, um, scaling our cloud operations and infrastructure. As mentioned before, we're really looking to rapidly grow adoption via our cloud offering. And therefore, operationally, we need to be ready uh, to support that. So then looking at things that are in active development um, on the end user or the early user experience side, uh, we launched our A-B test framework on the Mattermost cloud and we're working together with the messaging team to launch the very first A-B test um, by July. We also recently shipped uh, or released 14 day cloud trials, which allows all users to uh, try Mattermost Cloud for free for as many users as they want for 14 days and really get the full experience to be able to um, uh, fully evaluate if Mattermost Cloud is the best solution for them. We've also added cloud onboarding improvements and uh, we made it, we made it much easier for someone who's just completed a self-managed trial to contact us or make a purchase if they choose to do so in just one single click. For the self-serve customer journey, we added email reminders for renewals and we also designed and implemented the self-serve user journey from a cloud trial to a paid cloud subscription. And then finally on the cloud operations side, the biggest priority that we're actively working on is implementing a database proxy, which is, which is basically going to allow us to significantly optimize our cloud resource use. Um, the cloud platform team is also working on finishing the support for uh, migrating your data from an existing Slack workspace or an existing Mattermost self-managed server to 
our cloud offering. What's coming in the near term in the August, September timeframe? For the early user experience, uh, for the various cloud onboarding improvements that we've done, we want to migrate those to our self-managed users to have the same um, polished experience. And we're looking to make various enhancements to the first time user experience, anywhere from onboarding to user invites and use our A-B test framework to really understand what is the optimal first time user experience for uh, our cloud users. For on the sales serve customer journey side, we're looking to make various improvements to renewal experience, as well as make it really easy. Uh, like at, once you've installed a self-managed server, uh, you'll have an option in one click to start an enterprise trial. Whereas before you had to either find it somewhere in the admin console, go to our website to request a trial this will make it really easy for you to get started. And then finally, for our, on the operations side, uh, the biggest milestone is going to be Mattermost 6.0, which is scheduled for September uh, with various featured promotions and deprecations. And we'll want to ensure that our Mattermost cloud offering supports that major version release. Um, we're also working on defining our SLIs and SLOs, which are service level indicators and service level objectives to meet our 99% cloud SLA. And then finally, uh, looking to make some improvements to our alerting framework um, of our logging infrastructure for uh, that support that had a scalability. And that's all I have for you today. If you have any questions, um, you can, ask, you can ask the growth team in the Mattermost community server. And otherwise, thanks for listening.